Welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 interesting missions that NASA has planned for 2021 or things that NASA will be doing in 2021. Now, NASA has a lot of other interesting things happening. I will link to the full list down below, but these are my top 10 interesting missions, interesting tasks NASA is doing in 2021. Um, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of all things space. If I could go to space, I would. I'm hoping you are interested in that too. If not, check out one of my other videos. We cover a wide range of topics trying to help you learn something new every day. Now, if you're new here, before we get into the top 10 missions, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and hopefully we can help you learn something new. All right, number one, January 1st, 2021, and quick asterisks about all these stories. The dates and times and things I'm talking about are accurate at the time I'm recording this, subject to change at any time. As with all things, missions get delayed, weather happens, all kinds of stuff, but accurate as of the time I'm recording this. But January 1st, 2021, the capstone mission. This one I find really interesting. This is a mission to launch a satellite as part of a first step towards a another space station that we intend to build in the same orbit as our moon. So much farther out from our current planet than any space station we've ever built. The goal of this space station called the Gateway Lunar um, Orbiting Outpost is to basically not only do scientific study there, but act as a staging ground for missions further out. Originally envisioned as a first stepping stone towards a Mars mission, it may not be ready in time for that. But it could be a long-term permanent installation, or at least an extremely long-term installation, for exploring the outer solar system, other areas, as a waypoint where we can stage different things and launch missions from there, farther away from Earth orbit, helps with that from my understanding. Very cool. It will be a permanently manned station with the idea that it would be kind of the next generation after the International Space Station. The idea of this mission is to test out the feasibility of placing an object in this particular orbit. Not on the moon, not necessarily around the moon, but in the same orbit around Earth as the moon is. So they're going to be testing this out, figuring it out as they continue to work towards building this gateway project. I think this is fascinating. The idea that we could have a waypoint to help fuel, man, do all kinds of interesting things towards our steps to not only explore Mars, but explore space in general will be absolutely fascinating. This is happening in January 2021, and again, it's the first step to a much bigger project that I'm very excited about. All right, number two. This one was actually listed on the NASA's website, but it's a primary Chinese mission. The uh, Taiwan one, I apologize if I mispronounced that. I know no, nothing about how to pronounce um, words from China, but my apologies if I butchered that. But this is going to be a Mars lander rover and orbiter that China is setting to Mars to study the soil there and study the um, the planet Mars, I should say. Very interesting because it's going to be one of multiple rovers heading to Mars in 2021. And China is hoping to expand their scientific and space exploration. Now, next to that will be the U.S. NASA project, Mars 2020. This will launch in February also. So both these are launched in February. No exact date for the NASA or the um, China Mar Mars mission, but the NASA one, the Mars 2020, is targeted for February 18th. This will be launching a Mars rover to explore and collect rocks and samples for a later mission to retrieve them. But probably what most people are most excited about is this is actually the mission that will bring the Mars chopper to Mars. This is basically a small drone that works like a chopper that will fly around Mars and help us do better sampling. Now we got very lucky with a couple of rovers we sent a long time ago that they were able to explore a far, lar far larger area than we could ever imagine. But with a helicopter, we'll be able to do even more. Can you imagine if we dropped a small rover in the state of Nevada, and we drove all over Nevada, but we kind of tried to say, hey, that is representative of the whole planet Earth. Well, it really isn't. Many different parts of the world are very different than what Nevada looks like. And that's the idea here with this Mars rover, Mars um, orbiter, and the Mars helicopter, they'll be able to cover a much larger area to get a better idea like, okay, 
This is what it's like here. This is what it's like there. But what's it like in a bigger region around Mars? Very excited about that. Could be very groundbreaking and hopefully bring us a lot of scientific studies. Now, we've never successfully taken anything back. Uh, and that's kind of the hope here a little bit. We've been able to study there. But this Mars rover will collect samples, consolidate them for a future mission that may be able to bring them back. We'll keep a close eye on that. I hope it follows through. But the Mars rover in Mars 2020 is on its way in February. All right, number four. Um, the I'm not even sure how to say this. Um, Parker probe? Now we're going to go with that. Is studying the sun. This is an interesting probe that's designed to withstand a lot of heat. And it's designed to get very close to our sun repeatedly to take measurements and samples. Now, it's also so close it's able to look at some of the inner planets. And it's going to be flying very close to Venus. This will be its fourth flyby to help us better understand the planet Venus. It's so one thing, again, I was talking about Nevada. A lot of the planets, we do these quick shoot buys or you have one spacecraft go around it. Having repeated studies over a long period of time help us better understand, right? Did you show up in summer? Did you show up in winter? Did you show up in you know fall, spring, whatever? Having repeated studies allows us to get a better idea of the planet over time. Very interesting there. All right, number five is maybe the one I'm most excited about. Space is a dangerous place. A lot of objects flying around. You don't have to look very far to see objects that have actually hit Earth repeatedly. Now NASA is launching a double asteroid re redirect test. The idea here is we are going to launch two um, or launch a mission to target two different asteroids to try to alter their course by impacting them. We're going to basically ram them with an object with the goal of diverting their orbit away from their current trajectory. The goal here is if we were to discover a asteroid heading towards the planet Earth, we would be able to send one of these um, satellites, especially built for this mission, to hit it, deflect it away. In space, it's huge, speeds are great. If you just get a minor course correction, it can change by the time it gets here to Earth by hundreds of miles, and you end up with the asteroid way away from us. I'm very interested by this. As we get better idea of the number of asteroids, number of objects around us, it's very probable that something may someday be on a direct impact course, even if it wouldn't be a life-ending event. Even a small impact that would happen to hit a populated area could be devastating to human life. So I think this is absolutely fascinating. Very excited about their double uh, asteroid redirect test, also called DART, which will be launching in July 22nd, 2021. Very excited about this. Very excited about the possibilities of it in the long term. And honestly, how much better would you seem to know that, hey, if there was ever an asteroid, we got that. Don't worry about it. We'll just move that out of the way. Very interesting. All right. Lucy, October 16, 2021. Lucy's mission is to fly by asteroids. Again, to get better understanding of the early days of our solar system. Now, asteroids are often thought to be broken up planets or pieces of planets that didn't quite form in or maybe spun off in early development. And Lucy will be flying by several asteroids in the main asteroid belt and six asteroids orbiting ahead and or behind Jupiter. The idea here is we can study these asteroids to get an idea of what they're made of, what their materials are, maybe get a better idea where they came from, where they captured from outside our solar system. There's been a lot of speculation that there was another planet and that may have broken apart at one point or not fully formed at one point. So Lucy may help us get a better idea of that. Now the final three missions here are all very similar and they don't have dates uh, for these. Excuse me, the final um, four here. Uh, three, excuse me, I, I can't count math all of a second. But there's three different missions all designed to study water on the moon in different forms or form fat. Now you probably heard we're looking at planning ourselves on the moon. A long talk, can we ever pull any of the ice that we discovered on the moon, turn it into water to help these colonies be self-sustaining? And there's going to be three missions to help study, not just for that purpose, but for the purpose of general science. Starting off with the Luna uh, launch map, this is launching sometime in 2021, a late launch, and it will map out 
the different polar regions to look for ice and different information. The, the lunar flashlight would do the same thing in a different part of the moon, studying for water on the moon and trying to figure out how much in general there is. So just a small fragment, a tiny bit of ice and water frozen on the moon, or is there a massive amount of it? And the lunar ice um, cube mission will study the origin of the water and what we can learn about where water is in other parts of the moon. All these are launching in 2021, no dates. Often they're listed as secondary payloads, so it'll attach to a mission that's going up. And this will be like a secondary side mission that will also launch on the same rocket, but not as the main one. Very interesting to see three different launches this year, all focusing on studying water on the moon. Very fascinating. Again, these are just a few of the different missions happening this year from NASA. Very excited about them. I think two things are very interesting to me. Actually, three. The asteroid redirect mission, trying to knock two different asteroids out of its orbit to help be able to protect Earth someday. The Mars 2020 mission. I'm very excited about this helicopter on Mars that can explore a much bigger region. And the NASA capstone mission. The Gateway Project is very exciting to me. A new space station farther out, which can do different scientific missions and more importantly, help as a staging ground to go farther out into space. I think it's very interesting. I love the idea of asteroids. Didn't really get to talk a lot about this, but there's been several missions recently that have captured samples of asteroids. You probably read about that asteroid that would basically make everybody on the planet a multimillionaire because it's full of so many rare minerals. If we could capture just one of these asteroids, bring it into our orbit, mine it, bring it down to Earth, hey, we don't have to mine the Earth, which is great for the environment. B, you know, a lot of the materials we need, a lot of the stuff you make your smart devices out of are rare minerals. It's believed that some of these rare minerals may be in abundance in asteroids and other areas. The ability to mine those, get those, will make things like your iPad here easier to get, maybe cheaper. So I'm absolutely fascinated by space. I hope we continue to do this. I hope we continue to develop. Fingers crossed for the future. All right, if you like videos like this or are one of our many other topics we cover, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here and hopefully we can help you learn something new. All right, I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for your support, I really appreciate it.